Hi folks, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode, we review Pathfinder Chronicles. This is a campaign setting. Now, it's very easy to get confused about something here. This is not necessarily absolutely built for the Pathfinder role-playing game we reviewed a few episodes ago. This is actually built for a standard 3.5 edition D20 Dungeons & Dragons game. This is a campaign setting, meaning it is part of a world displayed beautifully for you, laid out very similar to, say, Realms, Greyhawk, or Eberron, in terms of it's a pre-made world for you to plunk your games into. What's different about this is you can kind of see how they're starting to spin it a little bit differently. For example, in every single character class description, it gives you an alternate ability you can have instead of some of the standard ones that come with the package you have. For example, with the ranger, you can pick an enhanced ranger companion, which makes you a bit more druidic with your, with your animal companion than, say, the standard ranger, but it, you trade off with your wild empathy feat. So another thing, this gives you a really interesting... I like it a lot, to be very honest with you. It's, it reminds me a lot of the first edition Forgotten Realms, before it sort of exploded and got all chaotic and strange, and like, what, where, what, how, huh, we? This really sets up a very nice campaign world with different areas that have different emphases, and you can sort of pick, you can easily set one campaign here dealing with this topic. You can set one campaign in the, in the, river, in the river kingdoms where you're dealing with political uprisings and... Putting, you know, building up your kingdom. You can set another in Ustalov, which is the realm of fog-shrouded gothic horror. You can set another game in Nidal, which is a shadowy slave state. Also, one of the things I love is I love different races of humans because nothing aggravates me more than every human is generic and bland. We have 15 different sub-races of elf, but every human is generic and bland. I hate that! They've got really nice breakdown of human races here. Top this off with a really good description of the gods, the multiverse, magic, and a really kick-ass map. And this is a great campaign setting for your D&D 3.5 game. Could you run a Pathfinder-style game in this? Sure! Use the campaign setting, and there's a lot of backwards compatibility between Pathfinder and D&D 3.5. If you want a campaign setting that your players don't know every single inch of, like, well, I know that's not in Cormier, then this is a great one for you to go with. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming. Well, yeah.